Cowboys at 34 and 13 in the first pitch. Swung through and missed. We're underway. Our left on left, the 3-1, way outside. Shirley completely lost command right there. He got ahead to reach. Shows bunt. That's up the first base. A tough play here for Sherlin. And he's not going to have a play. That's as good a bunt as Earhart could put down. Sherlin at 3-1. That's upstairs. 1-2. He throws it there. And this one's popped shallow left center field. Grady and Humphreys. It'll be Humphreys. They'll test his arm. Throw comes in. And it's at that first base side. It does produce a run. But I think Sherlin will gladly take that first out. Big spot right here at 3-2. and two. Runners break. Swing and a miss. Throw to second base from Robleski. And that is protected by Santos. He does get the strikeout, the 75th strikeout of Nolan McLean on the season. <laughs> Struck him out swinging. Got him on the 82 mile per hour off speed stuff. Better this year, so falling behind 3 0 is a bit odd. This one to the shortstop, picked up by Brown, and it's in and out of the glove of the first baseman, Dorsey. Miguel Santos is safe at first, putting together a good at bat, the 2 2. Down the right field line, slicing and fair. Santos to third. He's being waved. They're going to test the arm of McLean. Now they hold him up. A double that hugged the line and may have hit the line. 32 RBIs for the junior first baseman. And he lashes this one center field. Earhart to the track. It's off the wall. Going to score one. And now here comes Robleski. Moore to second with a double. And the Patriots go up two to one on the back of a Cole Moore double. Ball stung to dead center field. The wind definitely helped this one as well. You could tell by Earhart, he thought he had a good read on it. Right there, thinking that he's going to stop. Then he checks the wall, and here's where the mistake was made as that ball gets right by him. You knew Santos was going to score, but because Robleski had to stop at second base to make sure that ball got down. Here's a 3-0. Low. Ball four. It's a chopper. They're going to come home with it. Moore dead to rights. That ball to the left side, and Cole probably like to have that one back. He can get out of this. That'll be a sigh of relief. Here's a ground ball weekly to second. Riggio to first, and Stone is able to accomplish just that. A 2-1 and a laser up the middle. Brown is on, and those numbers continue to rise. Cowboys have got the leadoff man on for Aiden Miola. Unbelievable. Here's the 1-1, and he hits this one well. The left center field, Grady, Humphreys back, and that is past Grady into the wall. Humphreys quickly gets it in. Boy, Grady had a beat on it, and all of a sudden, that bounce just, just passed him. It's a double for Miola last Tuesday against Oklahoma. 2-1 down the line, and right field. It is hooking, and it is fair. Could score two. Now being sent late, here comes the throw in. Blaine Jones, they got to play at the plate. He's out at home. Miola gunned down on a close play at the plate. And a tie ball game now after the double from Riggio. Now you can see Miola going back to second, but that one wasn't really in danger being caught by Benefield. He's got a great arm. Only mistake was that he threw it to short. But Blaine makes a great play, and uh, they're able to come in and get the out on uh, what would have been the go-ahead run. That's going to be the end of the line for Peyton Sherlin. But look at this throw from Andrew Benefield. And that actually is probably the only reason they got the out at the plate. Through an inning in two-thirds. This is hit well to right. But Benefield is there fighting the sun and makes the catch. That ends the inning. But a run for the Cowboys. He waits here on the 1-2 pitch. Deep towards right. McLean to the wall, looking up, there it goes. Nate Rombach with his 10th round tripper of the season. He moves into a tie for the team lead with Blaine Jones. And just like that, with one swing of the bat, the Patriots go back on top. Well, Rombach showing some pop to right center field. That one off the bat at 104 miles an hour. We have seen him start to go the other way with some force. He had a double last week to right center with a, at 109 miles an hour. Not a ton of home runs the other way. Good to see that right there. And 15. 
As Thompson crushes one to left center field, that is way back. Grady looking up, and it's out of here. Over the bullpen as a home run from Thompson, his 11th of the season, and we are tied at three. On a warm night like this, the wind blowing out, and Thompson didn't need either one. Uh, no help with that one. That ball was annihilated to left center field. See a Patriot faithful throwing that ball back onto the field, out in left center field, but that ball crushed. And the conditions tonight, hot, windy, and, and really some guys in this lineup, both teams, while they don't necessarily light up the scoreboard, Oklahoma State averages seven and a half runs a game, DBU at six and a half. To the number nine hitter, Doherty, and he walks. So Baker issues the free pass. That is the uh, fourth walk through uh, three and a, three plus innings. Texas, Oklahoma. As Earhart will lace one over Blaine Jones into left center of base hit. Did you know that he was from Tampa, Florida, by the way? <laughs> 13th round draft pick. I don't know if you've heard that or not. For Shotty, the pitch. Ground ball weekly to third. Diving play by Hefner. Throw to first is going to be late. There it is, strike three. Ryan Johnson gets out of it in a big moment. Hitter in Big 12 play. The 0 one, that is ripped right back up the middle. Well, they got a special one in Marcus Brown, who's in a zone right now. It's a two out single, and it sets the stage for the number eight hitter. The pitch hit in the air pretty well. Center field, Humphrey still going back at the track, and it's high off the batter's eye. It's going to score a run, and Miola is having himself a field day. His second double of the night. He came in with two doubles on the season. And it's now a 4-3 Cowboys lead in the top of the fifth. Again, as we had talked about, he had not had a hit in almost a month. And he has two doubles today and boy, some, some two-out magic. It's what the Patriots tried to do in the bottom of the fourth. This one's lined over the leaping glove of Santos. Miola around third, and the Cowboys are now up by two. And a two-out uprising here in the fifth. It's Doherty's ninth RBI of the year. Uh, it's, it's so impressive, too, coming from seven, eight, and nine in the order. Now, Marcus Brown's not a typical number seven hitter. He's second on the team in average, and, and Doherty's having a, a pretty good year in limited time. But... Uh, the fact that through uh, the first three batters, Ryan Johnson, he, he kept some really good hitters at bay. Chio. Johnson got him. It's 79. Big hook right there to Riggio to get out of the in inning. Now Ryan Ura for his second inning. In the first pitch, Hefner launches left center field. Long run, air hard towards the track, towards the wall. That's out of here. Luke Hefner's seventh home run of the season has brought the Pats back to within one. Well, his first career home run was an opposite field shot against Oklahoma State at O'Brate Stadium. It was in the top of the sixth. Here in the bottom of the sixth, he goes opposite field and has got the Patriots back within one and got the party started again here at Horner Ballpark. Had a fastball up and away on the first pitch at 92 miles an hour, and it just kept on carrying for by one run. Hey, off pitch, down and in, tying run is at first base. Play. A man on, two out, Grady crushes it to left. Thompson going back, going back. It's out of here. With one swing of the bat, Jace Grady has given the Patriots the lead back. Two home runs in the sixth. It started with a solo blast from Luke Heifner. Now the two-run shot from Grady, and it's a 6-5 Patriot lead. And another first pitch that was ambushed, a 92-mile-an-hour fastball. That is the third home run of the evening for DBU. And the two of them here in this inning, really not in doubt. Pats battle back, take the one-run lead. As Rob Walton's going to come and have a chat. And he's actually going to go to the bullpen. Ryan Ura had given up one home run this season. He's... Allowed two here in the sixth. And he hammers this one to right field. He might have broken out. Back goes Benefield. We start over tied at six. That's another ball that was torched at 107 miles an hour, an estimated 404 feet. Mendham didn't miss that. To even things up in the seventh. 
And as you just talk about, well, McLean got it 3 1. That's what Mindham gets 3 1 fastball, 92. And he's able to get around on it. He's hunting fastball, that's what he gets. And it's blasted to right field. Well, a long ball has played a big part in this one tonight for both teams. Second home run for Oklahoma State. And he's on base here with the walk. So Bubba Hall issues the free pass after retiring the first three that he faces. 1-1, one, one, there goes the runner. The pitch is grounded. The diving play and into left. Riggio will not test it to go to third base. Has something cooking here for Oklahoma State. And he lines this one to third. That's just over Luke Heifner. It's going to score a run. At least one. Grady cuts it off in the gap. Dorshing to second base. And Oklahoma State is back in front. A matter of inches from Heifner taking away that base hit. So Dorshing is able to, how he's able to pull that ball. That's impressive. That, that looked like that pitch may have been off the plate, at least from that high home camera. The pitch. He struck him out swinging. So McLean is gone. Russell gets a couple of strikeouts. 3-2, tight. Ball four, Robo's on. Tying run at first. And what would be the winning run is coming up in the form of Cole Moore. Here's the payoff pitch. High fly ball into left field. This is Thompson towards the line. Not easy. He makes that catch. Boy, he took a kind of a nervous route towards the ball in left field. He makes that grab. By the ninth, McLean's pitch. Hit high and deep into left field. This may do it. Goodbye, baseball. Blaine Jones with his 35th career home run has walked off Oklahoma State in an absolute thriller tonight. Six lead changes, and the final one belongs to DBU on a Blaine Jones walk-off homer. 8-7 the final. He got the slider, first pitch, and he sat on it. 100 miles an hour off the bat, 410 to left field. There's your hero. How many times has Oklahoma State done something like that to the Patriots? And it's about time DBU gets involved and what a swing from the veteran. He had the highlight reel play tonight on the line drive where he scaled the ladder and made an unbelievable catch. He extends his hit streak to six consecutive ball games. <laughs>